bit of a different video today. Today, I basically just wanted to show you my collection and the room where basically <laughs> it all lives in. So, let's go! Okay, so you saw a little bit in the beginning, but here's the overall room. I have four display cases here and then the table where I do all my reviews <laughs> and I left the drawer open. But we're gonna go ahead and start off with this side. We have the really, really big display with all my Amiibo plushies at the top. They didn't quite fit in the case, so I just ended up having to like throw them on there, but they actually look quite good, so I'm not really mad at it. But here's an overview of the whole case, and let's look at the individual figures. Starting off with the very, very top shelf, we have uh, Okami PPC from First Four Figures. And I have her with her sun disc. In the middle, I have Oki looking super snazzy and not broken, by the way. And then we have the same figure, basically PVC, but with an alternate weapon. If you go down to the bottom, I absolutely love Spice and Wolf. It's one of my favorite animes. So I have quite a bit from Holo. Ah, uh, forgive me, I don't remember where they're all from, but I'll put them on the screen. And I have more of her coming, so I'm actually very happy about that. Then we can see Catwoman. This is a gallery uh, figure. And I thought it was fitting because it's like my three cats. And it looks like them, so I thought that was hilarious. Then we have a Bushojo figure from Metal Gear Solid. This is Sniper Wolf with a little wolf at the bottom there. She looks very good, actually. I didn't even know she existed until I saw her. And I needed to pick her up. At the bottom here, we have Kirby with the two cute little amiibos. And this is the one, if you saw my review for it, that like spins and then sings. But yeah, I thought it'd be fitting to pose him with Waddle Dee and Kirby there. Oh, that's first four figure, by the way. Then we have another first four. We have Croc Banjo. He looks really cute, actually, and I thought he was going to be bigger than he was, but ended up being pretty good. And then we have Spyro, looking super dapper with Spark there. I guess this is another first four figure shelf because these are all first four figures. And then here's Luigi with Polterpup. And I have him next to two little carts because I thought that would be cute. I think eventually I want to try to find a way to rig them all so that they light up when I press a button, but we'll get there eventually. And at the very, very bottom, we have King Bowser, look at him. And he's freaking huge. The camera and pictures never do him justice. He is absolutely humongous. <laughs> and right next to him, he's blowing fire too. Snake. Uh, and don't give me credit for the setup, by the way. That was my husband. And I actually have Bowser set up on this, like, this little pillar thing it's literally just like a block of clay that i painted because i was worried that with over time that the flame would sag because it's just hanging out of his mouth and i it's more for preventative measure than anything else let's move on to the second shelf Ta-da! here's the second shelf this one i mean pretty much all my cases are still work in progress but let's start at the top at the top, we have these cute little prize figure Kirbys. I did a video on them and I actually really like them a lot. So I definitely want to put them somewhere where we can find them. And I'm really happy that they're going to be there. They're probably going to move, but that's where they are for now. Then we have a, I believe, Play Arts snake with the collectible from uh, the game. If you bought the collector's edition, the little hand back there. And you can also see my very crappy wiring. <laughs> Cause I actually do have these hooked up to lights. And then there's more lights at the bottom which you can see the wire there if you trace it. Then we have Michiru there holding a basketball. She looks super cute. I like this one. There was a couple like quality control issues, I guess, but overall I actually really, really liked it. Oh, this is from BNA. I forgot to add that. Then, right next to that, I just have right now like a little Mewtwo build figure and then a Mimikyu. 
I'm probably gonna move these to make space for like bigger figures, but for now, they're right there. Oh, and they're the second lights, by the way. Then, we have Charizard. This is actually a first four figures in collaboration with uh, Pokemon Center. I believe it was designed by Pokemon Center and made by first four figures. He lights up and it's absolutely beautiful. Right next to that, we have a Mega House water type PVC statue from Pokemon. I actually really like this one. Water types are my favorite, so I definitely have to get it. If we go to the bottom here, we have Kirby. <laughs> he looks so cute. This is Warp Star Kirby. He's resin, actually, from Force 4 Figures. He also lights up, and he's actually one of the first few statues that we got. And right next to him, is Phoenix Wright. If you've ever played this game, it's actually one of my favorites too. It's absolutely wonderful. This is also resin and I believe it's only the definitive edition or the exclusive. I can't remember. Moving on to our third shelf. This is I think where I have a little bit more of the smaller figures. I say that and then I see like these three humongous ones. <laughs> but let's go through it. At the very very top i have my nendoroids and again this is still a work in progress so i'm gonna bring my other nendoroids from here and add them on add them onto there so you know for now i just have the inuyasha ones over to the right we have papa parades and then we have junko and amaterasu the papa parade for her it was very good actually now Let's talk about this shelf because honestly it's one of my favorites <laughs> uh these are basically all bishoujo kotobukiya figures uh, forgive me if i pronounced that wrong but we have chung lee in her black outfit and her new york comic con exclusive outfit i believe she looks absolutely freaking stunning she was one of my my like most wanted statues and i finally got her this year then we have mika looking super cute with her microphone and her weird ass outfit. I'm sorry, it's weird, but I love her. Then we have Judy. I was gonna say these are all, like she's my favorite character, but they're kind of all my favorite characters. We have Cami in her bison outfit. I love this one. She just looks so freaking strong. And this is actually the first one that I got from this line. They're all uh, PVC, by the way. Then we have Abuki. I love Abuki, but her kunai is broken it's pronounced kunai right but anyways it's broken so i might just get another one of her we have kami this is her uh, original outfit she looks so good and we have sakura i'm still missing like five bushojos that are street butter but we will get there for now i'm very very happy with what i have so far If we go to the bottom, we have all of my amiibos. And there's quite a bit of them. I try to only collect the ones that I really, really like. So I'm not gunning for 100% here, but definitely for the ones that I really, really like. Let me see, what are my favorites? I have... <laughs> I have Isabel a couple times. Forgive me for that. Uh, I think I bought one, and then my husband bought me one, and then we just we were just like, all right, we're just gonna keep both. I didn't know he was gonna get her for me, so you know, we just ended up with two. And of course, Animal Crossing ones are all there, just below the plethora of amiibos. We have Diva. This is a Blizzard Gear Store statue. Uh, I forgot who the manufacturer is, but she's a big girl. I think she's like 20 inches. Uh, she is resin. And actually, she was our first, first, first ever statue. I guess bis like big figure, so. She's amazing, and then my husband got me her for my, uh, for Christmas actually. I can't remember what year though. All right, this little boy here is uh kind of an 
an interesting figure. So this is from First Four Figure. It's uh, Cat Mario with his bell, so it's the exclusive version. I don't actually have a card for him. Most First Four Figures, if not all, come with authentication cards, and I don't have his. I was actually going to buy him secondhand, and apparently he's got some history, so... <laughs> I thought that was really interesting, um, but I'm not really worried about it. He's also also not even numbered, which all exclusives should be. Uh, but if I'm being honest, I just really wanted the damn statue, so I got it. And I got it for actually a pretty good price, so there you go. Then we have a life-size bust from first four figures of Amaterasu. I don't even know if you can see it. She's bigger than D.Va. And she lights up. Her sun disc lights up. And she looks absolutely beautiful. She's also heavy as hell too. <laughs> but there's Isun at the very top. And I absolutely love him. Okay, let's go look at the third case. For our third case, and excuse the bad angle here, we have way more first four figures. I spent too much damn money on them. But we actually also have a couple Legos on the bottom. You guys don't see this case at all while I'm reviewing because it is to my side and off camera. Quick side note about this window, by the way. I try to frame it on my videos because it looks hideous. But yeah, we have a dog and <laughs> when we first got him, he was really bad about like uh, separation anxiety. So he would like claw at the window every time we would leave. He's way better now. He's doing fantastic. But I never replaced the window because... Uh, you have to measure and cut them and you have to go to Home Depot and blah 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 and I just don't feel like doing that so I haven't hopefully I'll get <laughs> I'll get to it at some point so my phone decided to crap out and I lost like all the footage for this particular cabinet but you know what that's okay we'll just run through it again at the very top shelf here we have Inuyasha a scale figure from Hobby Max he is PVC and honestly, he's freaking cool. I also need to dust. Ew. Ew. Okay. Anyways, I have his beads there at the bottom because I thought it would look cool. But I feel like I should probably like reorganize that somehow. Make it look a little better. Here at the center, we have the Yashahime girls. I have Toa and Satsuna in the front. And then, of course, the best girl ever, Moroha, in the back. And these are non-scale uh, Papa Parade figures. You've probably seen these like a ton on my channel, I'm sure. Then we have Daddy, I, I mean, uh, Shoshomaru. This is also from Hobby Max PVC. Uh, kind of like of a companion piece to Inuyasha there. But yeah, he looks absolutely stunning. I think he's like 12 inches or something like that too. At the second shelf, we have the Spiral Bust from First Four Figures. This is the Grand Scale Edition. I decided not to get the Life Size edition because uh, it's huge and I don't have a lot of space like that and I'm a Tarasu's exception because that's like my all-time favorite game ever and although I love Spyro he gets reduced to eh, like a more manageable, manageable size next to him I have the mini metal crystal dragon pieces also from first four figures these guys don't light up or anything but they're honestly they're wicked cool so I like them quite a bit right next to that we have, kind of like the Legend of Zelda appreciation corner, we have Majora's Mask PVC and Hylian Shield PVC from First Four Figures, along with their little cards. These guys are actually really cool. They light up and um, Majora's Mask actually has this feature where it's like motion sensing, so it will light according to that. I don't know. I think it's freaking cool. At the very, very bottom shelf here, we have... A bunch of Legos! The Mario Legos are actually what got me into getting like Legos in the first place. I had always liked them, but like never really had a reason reason to get into it until these guys came out. So I picked out like my favorite. We have Bowser's Castle with Mario and Luigi there at the very front. It's kind of creepy because they look a little like dead or something. <laughs> And then at the very middle here, we have the question mark block with a little surprise compartment Bowser there on the outside. I love this one. This one's so freaking cool. 
And then we have Bowser. Bowser's uh, flying ship. This one's also really cool. It's got like a lot of cool things and you can extend it out to make it lar uh, longer. And yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, that is my fourth case here. And there's actually one more in my office. Actually, two more. We have two more. <laughs> one in my office and then kind of like a bookshelf that we have in my living room. So let's go. Here for my office display, I basically have two Nendoroids from Overwatch, Diva. Fantastic, I love them. Then we have Chiaki, a PVC figure from... I forgot. But yeah, I'll post it up on here. I love her, she's like one of my favorite characters from Rumpa. Then we have some more Figmas here, as well as... <laughs> uh, one of the few Pops that I have, I actually don't really like Pops, but it's Diva, so I kind of had to. Then we have Isabel here, her Nendoroid, as well as Emmys. For the second to last shelf, we have Nelfumi and Raftalia with some of my magic bands. Some of which I reviewed, some of which I haven't. But yeah, I have them just displayed back there. At the very, very bottom, we have two Digimon <laughs> figures, which unfortunately I've already like packed up because I had to... Ugh, I have dust and everything, but I will put a picture. You can also see my horrible wiring for this one, because this uh, display has a light at every single shelf. It was kind of a pain to wire, um, but I'll probably hide the wire somehow at some point. <laughs> I just haven't because I'm lazy. Okay, okay. Last, last display, I promise. This is just a regular bookshelf that we have. Kirby's in the living room but it does have a couple of like figures we have the lego bonsai tree we have a couple of like little plastic molds that you get from the zoo i love them and then we have all our manga here those aren't figures but in case anyone asks there we go then this is where i actually have the avatar bookends i've been thinking about installing lights on here but I don't know if I feel like doing that. And then, for the bottom, we just have a bunch of art books, some actual business folders, uh, the complete collection of Calvin and Hobbes. My husband loves that. And this is where I have all my vinyls. I have quite a bit of them. Okay, that's officially it. Let's go back to the main room. So that's pretty much it. I have a couple more figures like strewn about all over my house. It's kind of a damn mess. They're all over the place. <laughs> but if you're interested, I could also do an office tour because I have some more in there that I also didn't show besides the Daltoff display case. And yeah, it's a little bit crazy in here, but yeah. Let me know what you think and I will see you in the next one. Bye.